Hey guys, welcome back to the Wall Street. Bill Anthony here. I hope you're all doing well and staying safe out there. Massive shout out and thank you to every single one of you who have subscribed to the channel. I really appreciate it. I love talking with everyone in the comments and the community tab. So if you're new to this channel, smash the subscribe button down there. Turn on that little bell notification as well because as you can see right here, I love documenting my journey with investing, be it through cryptos, dividend stocks, growth stocks, talking about passive income, building financial freedom. And my goal at the end of the day is to build generational wealth. So come along this incredible journey. It's been insane so far. Also, guys, if you give this video a thumbs up watch it straight through to the end it would really help me push this channel out to a lot more people and i would appreciate it all right guys let's get straight into it little disclaimer i am not a financial advisor please do your own research and due diligence with this stuff it's extremely important i do not want to see anyone get financially hurt please jump on all the websites i've recommended masari.io which i'm going to go through today uh lunar crush reddit medium tiktok if you have to just be careful on that obviously google everything use twitter a lot because it is uh, very very rich with information uh so uh, do your own research don't take what i say as financial advice my golden rule is only invest what i can afford to lose because you can lose money like that in cryptos all right so please be careful do your own research all right guys now the formalities are out of the way it's straight into the community tab today do you think bitcoin has hit the top for this bull run I put up this post because I'm curious because it it's peaked at like 90,000 Australian dollars, which is crazy. Uh, and I'll get into the USD in a second, but 21% said yes, 75% said no. So there's still more yet to come, guys, which I am in the not yet basket because I think this is going to hit 150,000 very soon. It's only just consolidating because people are taking profits. And the other one I did uh, put up is XRP to $10 in 2022. Of course, we all want to see a $10 XRP. 74% said yes next year in 2022. 19% said no. Well, I'll leave that up to you guys, but I think XRP will easily hit that number next year. Um, obviously, you know, pending a result from this case or an outcome, which I think will happen, and I remain very positive about it. But uh, I will have to wait and see, guys. I'm long term with XRP, I'm not expecting to be a millionaire overnight definitely long term let's get into coin spot today because this is where i buy my cryptos in australia please feel free to use the referral link below if you want to start getting involved with cryptos you need to do your own research of course there is a, a you know an option for you to get ten dollars of bitcoin if you wish so check that out i'll leave it up to you guys so all right bitcoin sitting at ninety thousand australian dollars today which is incredible it's up 0.82 percent so everything's in the green right now crashed out yesterday and everyone was panicking oh this is the end but guys it's in the green so no stress Ethereum, $6,600, guys, up 3% today. BNB, $892. Solana, $333. Cardano, $2.96. XRP, $8.73, guys, up 3% right now. Polkadot, $67. Dogecoin, $0.37. Cents. Shiba Inu is up 9%, guys. I'm still holding my bag of Shiba Inu. Uh, let's go here. Polygon Matic, guys, $2.51. VeChain is sitting at $0.23. Cents. This is awesome. Stellar XLM, $0.55. Cents. Keep scrolling down here. Theta, $10.44. Uh, what else have we got here? Hedera is up 7%, guys, to 61 cents. This is awesome. Decentraland Land Mana is up 11% to $3.81, uh, Australian, by the way. Neo is $69. Keeps growing down here to my other favorites. And uh, Sandbox, I'm still holding that. Obviously, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to sell that because we're very early. Up 8.37% to $3.42. And the other one here, guys, is obviously my favorite, which is XDC. It's up 2% to $0.13. Cents. Time to fill those bags, guys, for sure. Now, obviously, we've got some news updates in Decrypt. I do keep an eye on this. Diamond Hands, 12, only 12.9% 12 of Bitcoin supply remains on exchanges. So everyone's holding their Bitcoin, guys. They ain't going to sell it. You have no reason to sell your Bitcoin if you're holding Bitcoin. Why would you do that? Look, if you just go back on the charts, look at the history of Bitcoin. It's just gone up in value, guys. It's incredible. I mean, um, CoinSpot put up a post on Instagram yesterday, and they just showed the prices from like 2013 till now, like 2021, guys, which is sitting at like a couple of hundred, like five or ten dollars or something like that. And then it goes up to ninety thousand dollars. Just look at that rise over time. And yes, and you know, a lot of consolidation, a lot of bumps all along the way. But either way, if you look right out and zoom out, like I always say, the price is just going upwards, guys. That's incredible. Let's go and have a look at some news on, on the internet, guys. And obviously, we've got the case with SEC vs. Ripple. So what to wait for in the XRP lawsuit agenda. So tomorrow is likely to be the most important date in the XRP lawsuit. So this month, as it is still a deadline for exchange of expert rebuttal reports. So again, the battle continues with XRP and the SEC, or Ripple and the SEC, sorry. Um, obviously, we, we know that this case has been dragged out until January, where the expert discovery has to be finalized there. 
Uh, so we got here some interesting stuff. So we're in the middle of the discovery phase after the judge moved the dates twice. The deadline for expert discovery has been moved from Friday, November 12th, which would have been today, <laughs> um, but it's been pushed out to the 14th of January. So tomorrow, however, is mo most likely to be the uh, most important date in the XRP lawsuit this month, as it is still the deadline for ex exchange of expert rebuttal reports. So this is going to be interesting, obviously, and um, the December 6th deadline is for to comply with the judge's order regarding the discovery disputes, including identifying any term in the XRP sales contract that, can you, that could create an expectation of profits and explaining uh, if Ripple's efforts were necessary to affect the price of XRP. Uh, obviously, the SEC also has to answer hundreds of Ripple's RFA's request for admission regarding the XRP sales offshore. And the RFAs relating to their fair notice defense might not be answered if the judge grants the SEC's motion to strike the fair notice defense. And uh, I hope that doesn't happen. But uh, guys, it's like, you know, kids arguing in the playground pretty much. It's really annoying uh, between the SEC and Ripple. And uh, hopefully something gets, you know, resolved here very soon. I'm, I'm remaining positive about this. And uh, hopefully we see a uh, resolution very soon because I think it's needed because, there's, again, there's a lot of people that have been affected by this court case and, uh, you know, it's really annoying. And we'll get into Twitter as well because John Deaton put up a tweet not long ago, so I'm going to get into that. Again, rich list here, the XRP stats. Obviously, you've got six accounts that hold a significant amount of XRP. You know, you've got, um, you know, a billion tokens here, guys, which is a lot. 13 hold 500,000, 72 hold, um, uh, sorry, that's 500, uh, what have we got here, 500 million, 72 hold 100 million, 107 hold 20 million, 130 hold 10 million, so on and so on. If you go by the percentage of accounts as well with XRP, in the top 10%, if you're holding 2,000 XRP, you're in the top 10%, guys, and that's pretty cool. If you're holding 7,500, you're in 5%, 10,200, you're in the 4%. Uh, what do we got here? 15,000, you're in the top 3%, 26,000, 2%. If you hold more than 50,000, 50, you're in the top 1%, guys. And if you're anything above that, well, you're getting into the whale status here with XRP. So again, that's pretty cool. But let's go into something else I just discovered as well. And I want to show you this, uh, is this, right? Masari.io, this is a post I found on Reddit. And I, I mentioned Masari.io uh, quite a lot in my videos. And it's a great website to find what institutional investors have got in their portfolios. And this is a list and I'll link it below so you guys can go through this um, because you can't actually get access to the, well you can, but you've got to go digging quite a bit. But this is really good because it provides the top 50 institutional investors in crypto. Um, these are the biggest companies here, right? So for example, uh, Almeida Research, this is a huge in institutional firm with cryptos. This is their actual portfolio. So it combines everything that they're holding and puts it on Masari.io. This is why it's very important. Not a lot of, not a lot of people talk about Masari.io, believe it or not. So they're obviously holding uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum, uh, BNB, Solana, Uniswap, FTX, Aave, Unis there, I can't, remember, can't pronounce it. They've Curve Token, OKB, Huobi, Sushi, Swap, I believe that is, Yearn Finance. It's a bit hard to do this on the phone because you can't see the full thing, but One Inch, Alpha, Swipe, Linear, uh, what else have we got here? Acro Acropolis, obviously, Ramp, AP, APY Finance, Cream, Pickle, Meta, uh, Bow Token as well. Now, I've heard some stuff about Bow Token and I was surprised that it appeared in Almeida Research's portfolio. So I'm going to check out Bow Token. I've heard some stuff around the Chinese market there or something. It's digging this. I'm going to dig into that a bit more. But uh, guys, it's pretty cool. So if I go done, the other one here we've got here um, is obviously Coinbase Ventures as well. So you've got Coinbase Ventures portfolio. So this is what's in their actual portfolio. You can see here Audius, Bitcoin, Cello, Airweave, um, Dodo, Ethereum, Flow. It's a bit hard to see here. I think that's near protocol. Polygon, Rally, Rally uh, Rarible, Reserve Rights is one that I'm considering as well because it's quite cheap at four cents. Again, it's just ability to build up a bag of that. You've got the graph in here, Terra Luna, Uniswap and Yuma. So again, great information here guys that you can use to just check out what these big boys are holding in their portfolios i'm not going to go through them all because i'll be here all day you've got court grayscale as well which obviously we all know who grayscale are these are considerations so obviously considerations that they're you know wanting to put in their portfolios so decentralized manner that's new um that's in there at the moment stacks flow eos tezos cosmos polka dot cardano live comp maker are they filecoin 
Sushi Swap, Uniswap, The Graph, Chainlink, Monero. This is great, guys. Reserve rights again. Uh, basic attention token and yearn finance. So you build up similarities between the institutional portfolios and what they're holding. So it could be just if you're looking to build something similar around this, you can look at what the common tokens are. And obviously, I've seen here now reserve rights are both held in, you know, Almeida and now um, a coin. Um, sorry, forgive me, Grayscale. Um, so they're, they're holding that as well. You've got everyone here, guys. Go through this, spend some time having a look at it. Obviously, do your own research. And you've got another one here. Uh, that which is big and as well this one is available on Masaru.io but you can't access it unless you remember uh, which is let's just wait fear sorry which one is this let me just go back sorry a Pantera Capital that's it big firm uh, if you scroll into their portfolio all right so they've got Kin Token Oasis Near Protocol Terra Luna Polkadot Ethereum ANKR Seller I think it's OMG uh, Big Ave Maker Bloom Civic D market, Funfair, Filecoin, Icon. Some of them have very little um, coins in their portfolios, obviously, but they are holding, you know, like similar products like Audius, Basic Attention Token, XRP. That's interesting. That's the first one I've seen on here. Obviously, there's a few, um, you know, that are holding XRP, which is great. Now, just go here to this post here, and this is awesome. So, quick summary. 26 out of 50 are holding Bitcoin, 27 uh, out of 50 are holding Ethereum, 4 are actually holding BNB, which is interesting, USD Tether 1, Cardano 2 of them, Polkadot 20 out of 50, 6 out of 50 are holding XRP, Uni, LTC and Link as well, so just a good breakdown there, but do your own research, have a look at them guys, because I find that fascinating seeing what the big boys are holding in their portfolio. Masari.io is a great website. You know, same with Luna Crush as well, if you're looking up the social status of a project, and I think that's very important. Um, and obviously, you've got here Arrington XRP Capital, which is good as well. We all know this XRP as well. They're holding that in their top holdings, as well as Bitcoin, Ethereum, Terra, Algorand, Stacks, Nexo, Seller Network, Reserve Rights is another one, guys. So again, Reserve Rights, maybe one to consider. Uh, what else have we got here? Perlin. Bit hard to see these ones seller nexo stacks all right so that's pretty much it i'll link this below because i think it's really good for you guys to check out and it's really um interesting but let's get into twitter quickly because i don't want to keep you guys too long we've got european fintech regulation around ai crypto and blockchain can act as guidance for regions to follow so this is interesting guys how providing a framework for long-term innovation our head of public policy susan friedman explains via fintech times so again europe europe is leading the way in regards to regulation around you know blockchain technology which is awesome this is a great article by the way have a read of this just give some insight into what you know general you know adoption and regulation in europe so again this is happening in australia but it seems that the u.s um, and Mr. Gary Gensler and the SEC are just struggling to give clarity around regulation over there, which is really annoying. It'll happen soon, guys, but just give it time. And obviously, we've got three commas here. I'm going to give you an update on that because that's been flying at the moment. I've just made some adjustments and I'm going to give you guys some tips as well. Um, Pomp, Pompilano, uh, forgive me if I'm pronouncing his name wrong, but wow, the city of Miami just announced that they are going to give a Bitcoin dividend. Uh, to every citizen that sets up a digital wallet, guys. So this is interesting. We are going to be the first city in America to give a Bitcoin yield as a dividend directly to its residents. So that's awesome. I mean, anyone, you know, any government or, you know, organization like that who provides crypto to their citizens is awesome, I think. Johnny e. Deaton, this is interesting, guys. Gary Gensler, an order and independent investigation into the conflicts of interest related to Ethereum free pass and Ripple XRP lawsuit. If it concludes no wrongdoing, you helped build public trust in the agency, which is you know what we all want. If the S, if it finds wrongdoing, you're, you can achieve justice and trust. So again, this has been ordered as well. Gary Gensler, the boss there at the SEC, uh, he needs to provide clarity there and the conflicts of in Ethereum free pass. So Ethereum got away with it not being a security. So it's gonna be interesting to see what happens there. Uh, we've got some other updates from the CEO of FTX Official. He's talking about, you know, um, blockchains in general. He doesn't see there being 50 or so blockchains or, you know, crypto projects that, you know, for adoption. He only sees this as single digits. So, again, implying that Ripple is well and truly in that box seat and position right there for adoption, which is good. And I've got my tweets here as well. But, guys, that's pretty much it in terms of the news. It's been pretty quiet. The market's moving nicely. Let's get into three commas because I want to show you that. 
I think it's very important because this is incredible, man. I love this app. So sitting at $1,863, uh, $1, I'm up 3.5% on the day. Again, it's via Binance. And the guys, I've made $11.44 USD today. Uh, total profits is $328.90. So $328 USD. Let's just go straight here. $328. It's $450, guys. I'm pushing nearly $500 here in profits. That's awesome. Now, just a little tip for you if you guys are using three commas. And if you're down to this end of the video, guys, that's awesome. So thank you. Um, if you're using three commas in Binance, what happens in the trades is that it usually leaves a real you know, like a breadcrumb trail of cryptos in your Binance account. You can convert those to BNB. Um, me, I've been leaving this running for nearly a month, guys. So it's been a while. And uh, I had like 160 coins in my Binance account, which was really annoying because I'd never be able to cash them out. There is an option there in the Binance account app. If you go into that, you can convert all those to BNB, all your small holdings, to cash your BNB out to USD Tether, or if you're using that or whatever crypto you want, into three commas, and you can just you know top up your account by cashing out all those useless uh, small tokens there they're not useless but you might you know you you won't be able to cash them out pretty much so it's a really good option for you guys if you're looking at that i did that yesterday and i came out with like 400 uh us dollars worth of bnb so I, I put that straight back into my trading box guys and it's been incredible i have increased the deals to 27 deals I did go back to my 1% profits now, so the deals can close a lot faster. So I've increased it to 27 deals, still haven't touched any of the parameters as well. Um, and it's been incredible, guys, because it's closing deals a lot faster now rather than waiting 1.5%, uh, which obviously slowed things down, but it was making more money, but it was slowing it down. So again, I'm still in my Aave deal here, 27th of October, 7th of November, 8th of November, 9th of November, 10th of November, and you can see all the deals here that are going at the moment. And again, I've left it at 50 Bitcoin trading volume, for, so just to slightly give it a little bit more volatile, not too much. I mean, you can put zero in there and you'd be trading really low volume coins, which is dangerous. I don't want to do that. So that's pretty much it, guys, in terms of the three commas trading bot. Again, I'll leave a referral link below and a video on how to set one, the dollar cost averaging bot up. It's been incredible. Um, I've had a few questions in relation to people uh, saying that they've get, they're getting errors. Um, that'll happen. Um, I've had a few errors that, ha that haven't been able to go into trade, so that's quite normal. It'll just keep going until it gets the deal. Obviously, you've got to ensure that your bot is set up correctly so you're not you know, over leveraged. And uh, I'll just give you guys a warning about that. Try not to over leverage your trading. You know, some people, I, I saw a video, someone the other day, he was like, you know, three to 4% over leveraged. So he was effectively, you know, he had $5,000 investment in USD Tether. Um, and he was trading like he had 90 to $100,000, uh, which is very dangerous because if the market crashes, um, he will be, you know, call upon by Binance, obviously to repay that money but he had the money to cover that so just be careful with this you can over leverage or under leverage yourself there but i've just gone a slightly bit over um if not i'm literally on par now so i'm not using 100 percent of my portfolio there on binance which is good but that's pretty much it it's a great app it's a great program i'm using it again i won't push anything out on my channel that i'm not using personally so well i'm using this now as you can clearly see so that's pretty much it, guys, in terms of the news and updates. It's been very quiet. Again, it's a great dollar cost averaging you know, environment right now to build your portfolios up slowly. Don't worry about the you know, the FUD out there. The big boys are not worrying about the FUD. They're accumulating. Believe me, they surely are. All right, guys, stay safe. Have a good day. I'll put a video up tomorrow and give you guys an update as well. All right, peace. Bye.